Hello everyone, Red Mage here. Welcome back to this series where I go through different RPG products that I have and give them a quick flip through and review. In this one, I'm going to be going through three Mouse Raider products that are just absolutely delightful, totally adorable. Uh, the first two are substantial, the third one's very small, but I think it's great too. But the first one is the one I kind of wanted to spend the most time on. It's Tiny Fables, an adventure collection by Josiah Moore. This is a book that I kickstarted recently. I think it's in this is the PDF. Obviously, the physical version is coming pretty soon. But I wanted to give you guys a heads up that this is coming out, that you should look for it because it's so adorable. Look at the art. It is so delightful. And the whole book is like this. So I'm going to go through this in some detail. This is only 30 pages. It's a 30 page uh, in spread form. So it's about 60 pages individually. I'm going to be going through another document called Mouse Punk by Lazy Cat Cult. This is sort of an update, you know, a cyberpunk version of Mouse Ritter. I think it's great. Uh, and then the last one is just a setting called Oakwood, which I think is really great for a little, you know, plug and play uh, with a lot of great hexes and a lot of stuff going on in this more typical, but I think a really good typical uh, hex crawl. This one's only four pages, very short. Oh, and Mouse Punk is 24 pages. Well, let's start with Tiny Fables, because I think this one is just so adorable. Um, written and illustrated by Josiah Moore, there's some play testers, uh, a... Uh, table of contents. It is not hyperlinked, but that's okay. The book is pretty short. Um, the adventure hooks all have the page numbers uh, on which that adventure starts. So essentially what you have here is a little hex crawler region with some hooks, uh, and then that's it. It's just a, it's sort of a sandbox for the players to go in and play, and it's inspired by folklore and fairy tales. Really, really great stuff. So the adventures take place in Quill, an old growth forest warped by fey magic. Here, a wicked fairy has returned after 100 years of banishment to resurrect a terrible beast. A power-hungry fox is amassing an army of rat buffoons in an attempt to rule the forest. The fairy kingdom is in turmoil, and the ghost of a legendary mouse hero is trapped in an endless nightmare. All these adventures and more await you in the following pages. So good. <laughs> Look at this art. It's just so amazing. I want more products like this, I want more books like this, I want more art like this. So you get a uh, GM background, what's happening recently, and the factions. You have Madeline, the fox, and her goals and, you know, what it's going to be doing coming up. Mab, the shadow thief, the wicked fairy, uh, and the fairy kingdom led by Sylvester, an immature prince, um, and Merfolk, a gang of pirates led by Captain Red Hook. You have an events timeline, which is great. I love that. Phase 1, Phase 2, Phase 3. You have Thimblewood Village, which is sort of your hub. It's so awesome. The Squeaky Stein, the Mayor's House, the Abbey, the Turnip Farm, Percival's Carriage, Town Square, the Woodcarver, the General Story of the Squeaky Stein with the Tavern Inn. And you get the problem uh, that's happened here, a runaway broom. <laughs> you get the stew of the day, a nice menu, that's pretty cool. You get different stews, different side dishes, different desserts, different drinks. Really delightful. Um, brings to mind Redwall, you know, um, mice enjoying their food. You get the mayor's house, you get the abbey, the turnip farm, Percival's carriage, the town square. And there's problems for many of these different locations. This is a hex crawl, there's going to be adventures that you can run into throughout the town. So there's basically a problem for every location. You get some town encounters and some rumors, and some hirelings that you can get there. Ivan, the Scarecrow Mouse, Hickory, the Time-Cursed Mouse, Red, the Lost Mouse Girl, and Lyle, the Blind Mouse. Here is the Forest of Quill. You get Thimblewood Village right there, pretty close to the middle. You have a bunch of different locations. Um, Heartache Lake, the Tomb of Roses, the Maw of Shadows, the Wandering Cottage, Tulip's Castle, and then again a whole bunch of set locations there um, that are not listed uh, on the... On the um, directly, but you can see them on the, the right under the locations. You have the Mole Toll Bridge, the Crabapple Orchard, the Waystone Woods, House of Cards, Shimmering Bog, the Braided Tree, the Crossroad, and the Fallows. How to travel across it and what the forest is like during the day and during the night. With the table of what do you find, what do you hear, and what do you smell. That's so good. A list of daytime encounters and nighttime encounters with some awesome pieces of art there at the bottom. Oh, I love it so much. So much. That is just amazing. And of course, you'll notice that the Red Rat Soldiers are led, they're kind of like uh, cards. Um, you have Red Rat Squire, and then you have the Red right, uh, One-Eyed Jack, who is the Queen's right hand. I don't know. <laughs> and you see them all there holding the cards. I just love that. Uh, the Molto Bridge, it's a description of each of the locations. 
I think it's very, very good. The House of Cards. That's where um, Mab's... Um, yeah, that's where Mab is uh, hiding out, looks like. The Shimmering Bog, the Braided Tree, the Crossroads, the Fallows. Minerva the Crow, who is a merchant <laughs> that you can buy stuff from. That makes sense. The Crow is going to be a collector. You get a, a, a smaller hex crawl here at Heartache Lake. So there's a big hex crawl for the forest, but there's a small one for the lake, but a lot of cool locations. This is where the Fey Prince Sylvester's heart was broken. Um, you get a little bit of a Cinderella thing going on here because she danced it with him at a ball, captured his heart, and then disappeared before he could even learn her name. There's cursed water, some treasures, some key items, and the conditions you can you can receive here. Love that piece of art. Oh, that's so good. The lake, Lake Encounters, the Rotted Log, the Nixie Well. This is just such a beautiful book. Look at that uh, little map of the uh, pirate ship there. I <laughs> love it. So good. Eat the Fairy Village. You know, this is obviously for Mouse Ritter. You could adapt this to any game, but I think it's so perfectly suited for Mouse Ritter. If you don't play Mouse Ritter, you should try it just for this setting. I'm going to, once I get the physical version, I'm going to run this for my nephews. Uh, we'll play, I hope we'll play a campaign in this setting because it's so delightful. So cute. And just has this whimsy and also some darkness, I have to say. And there's some creepiness and some ghosts and things that are really cool. The Tomb of Roses is awesome. And uh, one of the thing going on here is this is where you can find the, the Vorpal Sword because there's a Jabberwocky who's going around. He's the sort of one of the big villains of this area. A uh, great dungeon here, Conrad, the ghost of Conrad, spirit of the legendary hero. He raves about his nightmares of the Jabberwocky, those claws, those wicked teeth. It breathes again, we are doomed, Aya, save us. And the fate of the Vorpal Sword, what happened to it? And here's Chulip's castle, the great wizard Chulip. Even though he lives alone, his castle is very much alive. The conditions you can receive here, the itchy rash or dirty. <laughs> you get some treasures here and some key items that you can find. The encounters uh, and the different room descriptions. The grand hall, a broom closet, a basement sewer, a boiler room, a garden, a landing, flooded library, an atrium, a gallery, armory, bathroom, tulip's quarters, the astronomy tower, and Tilly the chicken. Farmer Basil's chicken who swallowed the fireball spell tablet. <laughs> so it's a chicken that can breathe fire. It's such a good idea. The Wandering Cottage. Agatha the Wise, recently the Slife Logs, and Madeline tricked her into eating a bowl of porridge spiked with one of her own polymorph potions. Now she's turned into a helpless spider. Agatha is trapped in the attic. So this is actually where Madeline is uh, is hanging out. Madeline has taken over the Wandering Cottage. It's a great, um, yeah, it's a great base for a fox and her minions. <laughs> oh man, it's so good. Those little soot things. Remind me, Charcoal Sprites, that's straight out of Ghibli. Um, yeah, that's right out of um, Spirited Away. I love that. Great piece of art there. The fox terrorizing the poor mice. Madeline's room, the roof, cross space, the Maw of Shadows. This is a really cool dungeon. Uh, an informal temple to darkness comprised of the many creatures that worship it. Followers of Mab have gathered here to collect her sh shadows and resurrect the Jabberwocky. The Jabberwocky is kind of made of shadows, and basically they, they um, yeah, they're trying to collect shadows, and so they have these scissors that can cut off mice's, mouses, <laughs> mice's shadows, um, and you can become shadowless, uh, and then you can get shadow clippings in your pocket that can bite you. <laughs> um, little shadow creatures come and try to take your stuff. It's really cool. Really, really cool. Slobbering shadows, chasm, and then there's the Jabberwocky. I love it. He's got these tiny little wings on this huge body. That's part of the description of him. Small bat wings on a rotund torso. Teeth like splintered wood. Empty bug eyes. Long craning neck like an empty, like an eel. Its chest compresses like an accordion before emitting a noise comprised of an agonal, of agonal, of agonal snorts, toothy hissing, and shrieking laughter. So there's a few, just, well, that's one that I've noticed, um, you know, a mis misprint or, you know, typo, and agonal snorts. Um, just, you know, I think this is mostly done, though. I haven't noticed anything else. Besides that, one little thing. There's an epilogue of what happens if the Jabberwocky is slain. And then adventure endings that you can have. As, as well as the special thanks to the Kickstarters. Uh, the Kickstarter backers, I should say. 
and uh, the uh, RPG inspiration and the artistic inspiration for this adventure. Over the Garden Wall is one of the inspirations, which makes a lot of sense to me. This is such a beautiful little, uh, tiny, <laughs> tiny uh, book, Tiny Fables. Illustrated and written by Josiah Moore, he should, Josiah should be really, really happy. This is such a fantastic adventure. Delightful. Goodness, I can't wait to run it. The next one I wanted to cover is Mouse Punk, Little Mice in the Big City. Uh, so it's like a cyberpunk dystopia, right, where um, you're little mice and the city is run by the cats and it's all just this, you know, you know, it's crazy how it runs with Mouse Ritter. Uh, street Samurai, that you're in to break free from their bonds. Ruthless corporate and all-powerful cats. Um, a big city's not a wilderness. There's no escape from the humans who build it. But all the animals are unanimous in their opinion that human interference only makes things worse. So both the uh, mice and the cats who run the place don't like humans. Your wheel runners are mouse punks. What's new with mouse punks? You get new background, edgy equipment, you get drugs, upgrades, gadgets, clubs and pubs, creatures and factions, and a hex map of Silicon Hills. <laughs> and then super weapon upgrades. So you get new backgrounds um, with some, uh, yeah, basically updated items for your mouse. Edgy equipment, fully cyberpunk. <laughs> if you want to run them, dart gun, maul, and great axes. It's just basically, you know, um, <laughs> it's just different kinds of things you might find in the city razors, and oh, it's 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 awesome. Um, I love I love the art here. It's very very well drawn, right in the style of Mouse Ritter. It fits there. Drugs list, booze, buffer, booster, glimmers, rapid, and psycho. Um, the large battery. That's one of the upgrades here. Jumpers. <laughs> They're little spring shoes that make you jump around. Electro claws. A dart rail gun. Brain stim. <laughs> it's a great little. I love the illustration there of the street samurai with the brain stim hat. Magnetic armor and a cyber paw. Gadgets and cool gadgets you can have, how to recharge them, different kinds, basically kind of like magic items. Um, how to recharge them. They're, they really are just like tablets. Creatures and factions. And uh, the most famous corporats. <laughs> corporats. That's awesome. Different uh, corporates there. The LSD, the lab synth drugs. Uh, media entertainment. Corporation and the Corporation of Official Protection and Ration. Looks like Ration is missing, but that's okay. Uh, the Thrall Recruiting Firm and the K-Tech Consortium. And then there's some Street Rat Games. The Virtual Vermin, <laughs> the Pie Rats, the Techno Sea Rats, the Litter Looters, the Terror Rats, and the Chrome Plars. Chrome Plars, yeah. There's pigeons and sparrows that you deal with. Toy robots. <laughs> a limited edition toy robot controlled by AI. There are some, uh, yeah, in this, at least in this version that I have, there are some uh, typos as well. A limited edition toy robots. Uh, they dream of going to Mars. The only planet completely inhabited by robots. Omnitron, Lego, mm, Lego, <laughs> Lego N, E2, E4, Gaz, Lightyear, Eve 2.0, and Twistum. Pets, Nero the cat, Caligula the chihuahua, Commodus the pug, Cleopatra the cat, Louis the arrow parrot, and Robodog Ivan the terrible. <laughs> These are just funny ideas. I love it. House communities, clubs and pubs, mercs, districts and neighborhoods if you're going to create your own area, mood of any particular region, encounters, landmark details, and then a, dist a sample district, the Silicon Hills district with encounters and rumors and descriptions of each of the locations, which is great. Silicon Hills factions, you got the Ration Corporation, the Pigeons, the COP Corporats, Cleopatra the Cat, and Toy Robots. As well as some super weapons can be used instead of magic items for mouse or can't be cursed. You get the Alien Blaster, the Katana of the Protagonist, the Holy Hand Grenade, the Vampire Needle, etc. Some gear and prices, and I love that last little page, which is the first page, but they've all scattered after graffitiing the lazy cat cult on the left, and the cat is wandering through the streets. Great little document, Mouse Punk. I, I highly recommend you guys check this out if you uh, haven't seen it before. If you're interested in playing Mouse Ritter in a cyberpunk in a city, it's kind of a cool idea. So, uh, it's different than, a, <laughs> I think, not a usual combination, cyberpunk mice. The last one is really short. It's just Hex, uh, Oakwood, Hexcrawl Adventure for Mouse Ritter Rules. I really, really like it. It's a brief description of this place. Um, and you get a beautiful hand-drawn hex map 
with uh, encounters and rumors. Basically, it's just a region that you can use with a, a, brief, a brief breakdown of the region, the factions there, and then who they are. <laughs> the uh, almost heroes from the Czech Republic. Um, this is the English version. It's a great little hex crawl. Again, it's tiny, um, but it's free, and you can check it out um, if you're interested in playing Mouse Ritter but not using the standard uh, hexes from the original map, or combining this and putting it right next to the, you know, original hex crawl you get from the Mouse Ritter box set, or you don't have the box set and you just want to play um, in a setting. This is a great one. It's very simple, very straightforward, not a lot of detail given, but it has what you need to play a fun uh, a fun campaign in a hex crawl. So, oh good, I'd recommend check it out. But really, you know, Mouse Ritter, uh, Mouse Punk is great too, but it's all about Tiny Fables. <laughs> Tiny Fables is so, so good. Um, this is a much shorter video. I just wanted to you know, put something out there. And I hope you guys like these. And uh, I hope you check out Tiny Fables, uh, Mouse Punk, and Oakwood. All right, that's it for this one. I'll see you in another video.